Okay, I'm here with uh, John Jackson Miller, the author of Lost Tribe of the Sith. We're here at Comic Con. Um, so what's coming on down the pipe? A couple days, you got something coming out. What do you got? Well, we have the uh, Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith, the Collected Stories edition that comes out on July 24th. Uh, this has all eight of the ebooks that were previously available for free on uh, on Kindle and various other uh, sites. Uh, we have added to it, though. We've added a uh, novella that I wrote. It's, uh, it's over 100 pages. It uh, continues the story of the lost tribe of, uh, of Sith that are trapped here on this planet. Um, and uh, the edition also includes, uh, you yeah, know, this, this is a fun thing for me, the, it also includes the maps that I uh, hey. generated for uh, the various continents of Kesh, the, the locations that the, uh, the, the Sith are, are dealing with. Oh, wow, so that's really cool. So you can really kind cool. of follow along, uh, you know, we go the full Tolkien route here, uh, because it is sort of a sor sorcery, you know, lightsaber and, and, and force uh, you know, thing. Uh, where we've, uh, you know, there's there's no technology on this planet, yep. so it's a lot different than any Star Wars you've ever seen. And, and, and they're also pretty starved for resources, so they can't get oh, off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So they're they're, you know, we we, we see some really interesting things. Uh, uh, the Sith have to, you know, solve problems all the time of getting from place to place. Um, yeah, then and this is followed uh, two weeks later uh, by Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith Spiral, which uh, we just see the, the ad in the back cover of the book. There you here. go. Um, and that follows the events of the, the novella that's in here. Uh, it follows the events of Pandemonium, is the name of the novella. Uh, and Spiral uh, is, is uh, interesting because it. Uh, deals with uh, a class of humans on Kesh that we really haven't dealt with much so far. Uh, uh, there's uh, a slave class, people who have been cast out by, uh, by the Sith that are, uh, that are in charge. Uh, and uh, the story centers on uh, uh, a, essentially he's a, he's a, a criminal you know, a renegade terrorist, uh, right. so to speak, by the name of Spinner, uh, who is, you know, he's a, he's a vandal, he's all about upending the order, uh, and then there's a woman who's a protector of the order named Takara, uh, uh, yet, uh, yeah, even within all of this, uh, yeah, they're all evil, they're all Sith, right. so they all have designs on being in charge. They just have different routes, different right. ways that they want to get there. Some work through the system, some of them fight the system. And, uh, you know, I've joked about it that it's a lot like uh, in Dungeons and Dragons where you have chaotic evil and chaotic, uh, uh, chaotic evil and lawful evil. You know, the, the, there's a tension always between, uh, you know, the, the, the Sith uh, who want to, uh, you know, gain power immediately uh, despite what all chaos that would cause. And those who are patient and were willing to work through the system to get it. All right. So we, we heard yesterday in the panel that Pandemonium makes you want to. You know, Eris mentioned that it makes you want to reread all the the previous stories. Are there some things that twist those stories around a bit, or uh, some oh, secret things so. going on behind I, the scenes? I, I, I think so because it, the uh, Pandemonium calls back to every previous story that we've done. Uh, Pandemonium. Uh, you know, Pandemonium takes us to a. Uh, a new continent uh, on uh, on Kesh, uh, the one that was uh, d discovered and described in the last of the free ebooks that we did, uh, and uh, we realize that they have a very long history uh, themselves, and that they have been uh, they have been uh, you know aware of the fact that the Sith have been on the other side of the planet for a very long time. Okay. Uh, and uh, that allows them to prepare. And uh, it's, a, it's a very different group of Kashiri natives that we find on the other side of the planet. And so I, I think that uh, yeah, it, people are really going to dig uh, what we've what we've done in this uh, in this story. It is the size of four of the ebooks that we were previously doing. Very nice. Uh, so it, it really does have the feel of you know, expanding what we've done so far. Uh, and then you add Spiral to that, and you've got something which is very much like Night Errant, where we've got uh, both a prose portion to it uh, and a and a comics portion to it. 
Wow, so that, that you guys, you single-handedly seem to be bridging the gap between Star Wars comics and Star Wars uh, prose. Well, not single-handedly. There's 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 more doing it, but yeah, yeah I mean, Night Errant, which yep. uh, which follows the uh, you know there's a Night Errant novel. Yep. Uh, yeah, the, the, we we had uh, we had the first comic storyline of Flame, uh, then followed by the novel, which uh, was then followed by. Uh, Deluge, which was the second graphic novel yep. that was just available now, and of course now we've started again with uh, Night, Night yep. Errant Escape, yeah. uh, which is our darkest storyline yet, and uh, it, it involves Kara uh, going into uh, the territory of Odeon, yep. uh, uh, searching, uh, you know, not just searching for uh, an artifact that he's in search of, uh, which uh, which has some very you know, important uh, you know, ramifications if it's found, uh, but she's also searching for her family. Right. <laughs> and and not only that, she's also you know infiltrating Odian's organization, but she's also working with Odian's brother. Yes. Uh, yeah. If, uh, Odian's brother uh, assisted her in finding her route into uh, Odian's territory by uh, locating uh, you know. One of Odeon's agents, that you know, one of Odeon's recruiting agents. Right. Uh, you know, uh, basically, uh, Damon would like nothing more than to be an only child, uh, and he's uh, he's more than willing to export Kara, who's one of his big problems. Yeah. Uh, to do it. But but the fact that Kara is willing to do that to, to work with uh, Damon it, just to get in towards Odeon uh, to find her parents, maybe find this artifact. It's a, it's a it's a price she's willing to pay. And uh, and as we find out as this series continues, uh, you know that price may be too high. Really? Wow. Well, definitely looking forward as, as Escape keeps coming out. The second issue just came out uh, this past week, or second issue came out this past week, and uh, yeah, it continues uh, through October. Uh, All right. Lost Tribe of the Sith Spiral starts in August. Uh, first issue will be available uh, for Star Wars Celebration, uh, which I will be at. Uh, and uh, so we'll have both the novel and uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the collected edition and the comics available there. Okay, cool. Uh, what? A, any word on any? if we'll get any more Knights of the Old Republic War? Uh, you know, it's something that uh, I'm always interested in, in, in doing. You know, we're always talking with uh, you know, the, the you know, comics and prose folks about you know, various ways to, uh, to, uh, to do things. Uh, you know, we'll see. I've uh, I've got a number of other projects that I'm working on. I'm really taking a lot of 2012 to work on uh, my own uh, novel that I've got going, and I have another. Uh, uh, I have some original fiction coming out. Uh, you know, I was in the the armored uh, right the armored anthology that came out from Bane Books. Uh, you know, that was uh, that was a uh, a fun short story that I did for that. Uh, I'm going to be developing that into a, uh, a series of my own. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and also, uh, you know, I have some various other projects. Uh, I can announce here now, actually, that uh, that I'm returning to The Simpsons. Oh, really? Uh, yes. I, I wrote a single uh, issue of Bart Simpson uh, a few years ago, back before I started uh, working for, uh, for Dark Horse on Star Wars. Uh, and I just got so busy with the Knights of the Old Republic uh, 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 launch that I wasn't able to do anymore. Uh, but now I, I have uh, I have uh, several more stories coming up. I'm uh, uh, the first one is uh, is in Bart Simpson number 76, uh, which is uh, I think it's uh, an October shipping book, uh, and uh, there will be more. Awesome. And, uh, and those are just a lot of fun. I mean, that's uh, that's uh, you know what my my dirty secret is that I'm a comedy writer, uh, and uh, and so it's uh, it's. Uh, being able to, to do something with you know, that that title, which is really you know, it's it's, it's a all comedy. It's a world class production. I right. Mean, it's, it's really cool. Oh, and your comedy definitely shows when your work in Knights of the Old Republic. That's one of the things I think that made that series so great was that you'd infuse it with comedy, which Star Wars has a lot of comedy, and yeah. it, and sometimes we get some very serious <laughs> stuff. But you need to have that 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 balance between you know the action, the adventure, the comedy. Yeah. All the all the aspects of it, and I think and, you capture and, that you know, well. With the Simpsons, I don't need a balance. It's all over the it's top. It's all over the it's, top. Uh, you know, there's a there's you know, there's a there's a joke in every single uh, in every single panel. Are, are, are all the jokes based on uh, 70s and 80s TV shows? There's a few. There's a all few. All right. Uh, yes, I uh, I I uh, the, the, one of the nice things about that. Uh, is it the, the comedy works on two levels? Uh, and the, yeah, there's there's 
uh, an element to it which is, uh, uh, you know, it's for the kids, but also, as with The Simpsons, you know, right. there are other jokes yeah, as well. Yeah, you got to write on, on multiple levels so that everybody finds something they like in it. That's right. Very cool. Any other projects you want to tell us about? Not that I can mention yet. Not? But, Should we stay uh, tuned? Just stay tuned. I mean, and I continue to uh, do my research work on, uh, on Comicron.com. Uh, where I, I'm, I'm uh, consistently developing, you know, a, a, a historical database of, uh, of comic books and their their sales history, and you know, very soon I have you know the top hundred for 1960, 1961, 1962. Uh, that's that's what I've been figuring out, you know, as as a hobby, uh, 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 you know, based on all my work for years as a, as a uh, you know an editor of the trade magazine for the comics business. Uh, and uh, and then you know as uh, you know currently I'm I'm an Overstreet advisor uh, for, for that price guide as well. So uh, you know that's that's uh, and, and the latest edition of that has just now come out. So all right, wow, it sounds like you've been keeping your plate pretty full. It's a lot of a lot of different hats. All right, well thank you for taking time out today. All right, sure thing.